Hey guys, Art Decline here, Average Picker. So, still a bit under the weather. Um, whatever this flu thing was, kind of knocked me on my ass for a minute. Uh, but I did manage to get the picking area a little bit straight and a little bit more organized. And I also realized, like, I'm just kind of out of practice on stock locks. Uh, I've been picking so many challenge locks lately, I've kind of lost my feel for a lot of the standard stuff, and that I probably need to sit down and do a little bit more just general practicing. Um, it's kind of the off-cam stuff uh, that goes on. But I figured, well, I've got it sort of organized. Uh, I could give you a tiny little tour of the uh, lock area. Um, not because there's anything that remarkable or great about it or in it, um, but people just kind of like to see stuff. And there's a few new additions um, that'll probably not ever be on camera. Um, you can kind of see too what the my general stock lock practice stuff is. So uh, yeah, let's do that for a minute here. So yeah, the overall view that is pretty much it as far as what's going on. Um, I mean, there's a, I got a table in the back where I do the challenge lock builds, but that is pretty much where all the filming takes place. Um, you can see that's the camera stand or the iPad stand. Um, and then you just film in going that way. Um, so I just got some miscellaneous stuff in here. Um, but yeah, we'll take a look at it. So this is just kind of my odd and ends area. When I tend to get new packages in from people like this one from Alex, I tend to uh, put them here. That way I don't get them too confused, hopefully, um, with other things I may be about to prep and send off or anything like that if I drop them in the normal challenge lock area. <laughs> So packages usually reside here for a hot minute as well as just some other random little things um, or things that I mean to do or work on. Um, sometimes I stick upcoming picks that I'm going to try to do in here. Um, in this case, we've got a challenge lock here by Washington State Picker called Pet Cat. Um, this will probably be the next one I attempt on video and it's sitting there to remind me of it. Um, and then just a little three drawer thing. I would say this kind of comprises my main lock collection, really. Um, so there's not a whole lot to it. Um, this drawer tends to be my kind of standard keep in good practice um, locks that I pick. Um, some other little specialty things up here and my and Euro cylinders down here. We'll take a look at those. So yeah, if we just pull that drawer out here. Um, so yeah, we've got the EVA 3KS. This is just another standard EVA in here. Um, this was, I think this was a Yale Euro that Pot Kettle had um, gifted to me a while back when I was first getting started. Um, what is this? Oh, this is that, I think I picked this one for Stock Lock Sunday. This is that Fab. Turned out to be a little easy. Um, I got a couple of these. CO locks. Um, these were the first Euro cylinder style uh, locks that I had picked. I was really excited when I had found those. Um, got a couple of these ASA flex cores. These are the uh, weird twins that I found. Like a, not, they're not ASA twins, but they're uh, identically pinned, and I found them a year apart from each other. I've mentioned those in some older videos. Uh, this is a very just standard generic Euro cylinder. It's the other one of the twin. Um, so the Magnum. This is pretty much. Uh, I guess this is this is pretty much a Yale Superior, um, but it's uh, it's not great, but it's a tiny bit better maybe I would say than Yale Superior. All I know is this one is a little bit harder for me to pick than other Yale Superiors I have picked out. Um, and then we got this guy. This is a Mauer. Not picked through him yet. You can see it's pretty cool. Um, I haven't really sat down. A little bit of a camera fumble there. We'll go back here. So yeah, so this is a Mauer I picked up semi recently. Um, have not really sat down and messed with it too much. But uh, check that key out. That is crazy. Drives all the way in there. Um, yeah, I ordered that one off eBay a little bit ago. Um, that's kind of it on the Euro cylinder side. Not a whole lot going on in there. 
And this is kind of my just stay in practice uh, drawer, and it's a little low right now. I've actually sent out a fair number of things from it. Uh, it's gotten a little low. But I would say, like, if I was, I don't really sit down and just practice um, like I used to. Um, but this is kind of the drawer where I just, where I do a lot of that from. And this stuff ranges. Uh, you've got a lot of sergeants in here, you're going to see, because these are some of my favorite just standard locks to, uh, I guess, keep up the skills, generally speaking, with. Um, but this stuff ranges in here. It's it's higher tolerance than like your residential door, but some of it, uh, especially like some of these guys, I mean, th they're pretty low um, you know, as far as picking skill or whatever required. So I'd say you're running in here from low commercial tolerances up to um, higher ends with these sergeants because they're actually pretty decently tolerated, toleranced. Tolerance, is that how we're going to go with it? Um, so... Some of the newer ones, uh, all the way down to some of the older ones. Nothing too crazy. A lot of sergeants. Like I said, that's kind of my favorite, just standard lock to keep up skills with. Um, this little guy from ages ago, which fooled me into thinking I would be okay doing bests to operating and control. And oh, did that guy fool me? Because he's super easy. Um, so yeah, not a whole lot to see. Um, you know the. Sergeant Queso, got a couple of those. They also reside in there, but I don't keep them on like normal picking rotation or anything. Um, but because there's so many sergeants in there, these guys stay in there as well. Top drawer's got a little more specialty stuff going on. Um, so we've got a few couple medicos in here. There's another one. I think this is my only one that actually has a key to it. Uh, let's see what else we got in here. I'll let that one it peaks. And this is just a older Ilko. Oh yeah, the um, Everest, Primus, got a couple key marks, and yeah, you're not, if you've never seen one of these, man, these are crazy, I don't actually have a key mark key, um, but yeah, that's not crooked, that keyway just looks like that, um, yeah, they're kind of crazy, I have not picked through, I just got this one semi-recently, not really had a chance to do anything with it, this one, I'm not sure, Some, I don't have a key for it, and I suspect something around three or four may be wrong with it. Um, I mean, I mean that's a tricky keyway, but I'm actually having trouble getting the key to budge. Um, you know, I knew what this one was like a month or so ago. But yeah, I haven't really done much with that thing yet. Uh, let's see what else is in here. Anything crazy? That's some of these are just higher tolerance than what's in the uh, middle drawer, I guess. Uh, somewhere in here there should be a, oh yeah, that's a twin, which uh, I was poking around at this one the other day. Hopefully we can sit down and get a pick on this pretty soon. Captured shouldn't be too bad. I say that. Um, arrow. So yeah, that's just that's kind of the top drawer. Oh yeah, this one's kind of cool. So this is the Ving card, um, and I actually had bid on these, and then I think it was Mac over on the uh, Discord had bid on them too, and I ended up buying a couple off of him. Um, so yeah, basically you get your one key, and it works completely as expected, and then he cut this one for me. And this is actually a lockout key. It's a little bit rough, but it works the same as the key itself, except it goes to the second shear line and lets you remove the key. And at that point, your uh, regular key 
stops working. So I guess you would use this on something like a leased space or whatever, where you may have to, uh, you know, lock the tenant out. Um, you know, I guess maybe a longer stay hotel, maybe older in the older days before the electronic stuff. I don't know. I would imagine it'd be more on a leased office space or something like that, that you might end up using something like that. Um, but I got a couple of those in there. And they're probably, one of those is probably going to be slated for a on camera pick one of these days soon. And the bane of my existence, the best. These are actually, these three are from the uh, competition, uh, best competition that was held over on the subreddit a while ago. And these I picked up, I seem to keep, I did not actually even mean to buy these bests. Um, they just kind of came in a another lot of things I had bid on. Um, I keep seeming to procure bests and they are just, like I said, they are the bane of my existence. That's my nemesis lock. And when I say I keep, Procuring them, if we come down here to the bottom drawer of shame, open it up, hold on a second. More bests. And like I said, I just keep seeming to get a hold of these. There's a few of these uh, best peaks in here as well. I just seem to keep getting them, and they're just sitting in these knobs and yeah, got a lot of best picking to do, possibly. <laughs> so, up from that, uh, miscellaneous tool drawer. Just got some odd and end stuff in there. This is kind of a miscellaneous lock drawer where I throw stuff in the murder lock. Anything that I basically have to work on at some point. Um, there's a sergeant uh, signature in here that has to be reassembled. Um, so yeah, things that tend to be a little, get a little problematic, sometimes I just toss it in here until I've got time to come back in and work on it and reassemble it. Um, this guy used to have more, this drawer used to have more of a purpose. It was one of the things that got kind of condensed down. This was a traveling tray. A lot of times if I went anywhere uh, where a lot of new pickers or something was going to be, I tend to put a smattering of different locks in there and take that with me um, just to kind of show and help people with. And some just odd and end boxes. Um, and then these two drawers, these are the challenge lock drawers. So this is stuff that's ready to go out and is ready for trade. So yeah, and this is stuff that's not quite ready to go out yet and needs to be picked. Um, it looks like there's a lot more in there actually than there are, they're just kind of stuff on each other. And then we've got the very cluttered tool drawer that also just has some miscellaneous picks. It's got the remnants of the, uh, what, the Praxis set in there. Yeah. All of those picks. <laughs> yeah, some followers, things like that. Basically, if you see me reach off screen for a tool and all of a sudden something comes into frame, it probably came out of this drawer. Underneath, not a whole lot going on. Um, again, just a little case for traveling, taking some locks with. Cheap Chinese locks. Man, I might do one of these for stock up Sunday. So a while back I picked a lock, which I said, I asked if it was the world's worst lock. Um, and it weighed probably, what was it about? It weighed about the same as five 25 cent pieces um, here in the States. This lock actually might be even lighter than that. It says it's aluminum. I don't even believe it. Is there something just shittier than cheap, really thin aluminum? I don't know. Um, God, it just it even just feels crap. It, that weighs maybe the same as a dollar. Um, it's kind of amazingly terrible. But I like amazingly terrible stuff. Uh, and then just... Uh, few things down there that need to go into becoming challenge locks so these will get shuffled back into the back room um, and turned into challenge locks and it's kind of the same with that crap on the floor there uh, those just need to be disassembled and set up for challenge locks so yeah there you go guys that is just a that's a little tour of the picking table and it's actually much more organized now than it has been in quite some time um, Oh yeah, got a couple of these guys too. 
these safety deposit box locks. They're kind of neat. It's the only one I've got that has a key, and it only has one of the keys to it. Um, but just kind of neat little novelty, I feel like, to, I think, to have. I don't really do much with them. But, uh, yeah, there we go. Quick little tour of the picking table. Um, it's a very humble collection, uh, but it serves us well. So, there we go, guys. I uh, hope you've enjoyed. And, uh, yeah, have a good one.